गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स फ्रॉम सब्जेक्ट सॉफ्टवेयर आर्किटेक्चर एंड डिजाइन पैटर्न चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स इज ग्रास दैट इज जनरल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी असाइनमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर पैटर्न सो देर आर सम पॉइंट इन दैट इन दैट चैप्टर एक्सपर्ट पैटर्न क्रिएटर पैटर्न हाई कोजन लो कपलिंग देन कंट्रोलर पॉलीमोर्फिजम प्योर फेब्रिकेशन in direction and don't talk to strangers in chapter number 5 we have seen some design patterns like uh, creational patterns in that we have seen single turn factory method abstract factory then we have seen structural patterns behavioral patterns so we have seen number of structural and behavioral patterns then we have seen the implementation and consequences of that design patterns okay so the subject Uh, we are studying that uh, software architecture and design pattern so now we are going to see some another software patterns okay so that is gras general responsibility assignment software patterns so we are going to start the chapter number 6 here okay that is gras design principles okay so what is gras here it stands for general responsibility assignment software patterns it guides in assigning responsibilities to collaborating objects so we have seen that we are going to create the objects of that classes whenever we are going to design any uh, software or any system then we are going to uh, create our model or we are going to create one software architecture or we are going to design that model for that software that is in this way we are going to create some modules in modules in the sense we are going to create some classes some diagrams we are going to design so in that way we are going to create the objects for that classes so in by using this patterns we have to assign responsibilities to that collaborating objects to that class we are going to create the objects of that classes so we have to assign the responsibilities to that object which are going to collaborate with that class so there are several grasp patterns so first one is creator then information expert then low coupling controller high cohesion indirection polymorphism protected variations and pure fabrications these are the nine grasp patterns okay so what are the responsibilities here we are going to assign the responsibilities to that patterns so what are the responsibilities it can be accomplished by a single object so we are going to assign the responsibilities to that objects so it can be accomplished by a single objects that means we are going to assign the responsibility to that single object then or a group of objects collaboratively accomplish a responsibilities whenever we are going to assign the responsibilities either it may be a single objects or the group of objects are there there are several objects for one class okay so we can assign responsibilities to either single object or that group of objects so here grasp helps us in deciding which responsibility should be assigned to which objects or which class so using that grasp pattern we can decide or it will help us to decide which responsibility should be assigned to which object of that class or which class okay we are going to assign the responsibilities to objects or classes so we can identify the objects and responsibilities from the problem domain we are having one problem domain or problem definition so based on that problem domain we are going to identify that objects and we are going to identify that responsibilities from based on that problem domain and also we can identify how that objects interact with each other using problem definition through that problem definition or problem domain we will get the information of that problem or that uh, software design okay so for that we are going to define a blueprint for those objects blueprint in the sense like classes with methods that methods are going to implement that responsibilities okay that is the blueprint for the object so now we are going to see that patterns first one is creator so that creator pattern what is the problem definition here who creates an object who will create that object then or 
who should create a new instance of some class okay this is the problem domain based on this problem domain here we have seen based on problem domain we are going to identify the objects and responsibilities of that pattern here you can see that creator pattern who creates an object or who should create a new instance of some classes in multiple books or in multiple slides you, can, you will see that if you search there are different examples given or different problem definitions are given or different solutions are given in different way for these patterns okay so here you can see the problem definition is who creates an object or who should create a new instance of some class so here container object creates contain objects here you can see container object container is one of the objects that creates contain objects okay container object creates contain objects here we have to decide who can be creator based on the object association and their interaction based on their association or based on their interaction we have to decide who can be a creator okay here you can see the example for creator consider a video store and video in that store okay so we are having one video store and video in that store okay so here video store has an aggregation association with that video okay aggregation association we have seen the different types of association okay so here video store has an aggregation association with video that is video store is the container now here video store is the container and the video is the contain object okay video store is the container object and video is the contain object okay so here we can instantiate video object in video store class okay we are going to instantiate that video object in that video store class here you can see that example of the diagram example diagram here for this example here you can see creator pattern here video store is one uh, we can say class or object here and another one is video here so this is the aggregation association between these two objects or between these two classes here sorry <coughs> Here you can see video store. Video store is having video. Okay, this is the aggregation association between these two classes here, between these two objects here. Now video store is the container. Okay, video store is the container, and video is the contain objects of that video store. Okay, so this is the container, container object, and this is the contain objects of that video store class. Now we can instantiate that video objects. from that video store class okay this is the creator pattern example of creator okay here we have seen the problem definition who creates an objects here you can see that video store will create that object video okay and we have seen that who should create a new instance of some class here video store will create the instance of that uh, sorry video is the instances of that video store class okay here you can see the example for creator at video store it will create that video okay video store will create that video okay video is the contain object of that video store class that is the container here video store is the container and this is the contain object okay so next one is information expert next pattern is expert pattern here what is the problem definition for that given an object o which responsibilities can be assigned to that object here problem definition is we are having one object o which so which responsibilities can be assigned to that object o okay so expert principle says assign those responsibilities to that object o for which o has the information to fulfill that responsibility that means we have to assign the responsibilities to that object that means that object is having some information about that responsibility it means like we are having one consider one object here object o object o is having some information about that responsibility so that we have to assign those responsibilities to that object that are having information about that responsibility so that it can fulfill that responsibilities okay so here 
they have all the information needed to perform operations or in some cases they collaborate with others to fulfill their responsibilities here either they are having all the information necessary for performing some operations or we are having or they are in some cases they are going to collaborate with others other object to fulfill their responsibilities here this is the solution for that problem here problem definition is we are having one object so question is which responsibilities can be assigned to that object here what expert principle says we have to assign those responsibilities to that, to that object that are having information to fulfill that responsibility only those responsibilities can be assigned to that object okay here example of for that expert pattern here assume that we need to get all the videos of a video store we have to get all the videos from that video store so what we do since that video store knows about all the videos because that already obvious that video store is this is a store for that video so it it knows it's having all the information about that videos it's having all that videos so we can assign this responsibilities of giving all the videos can be assigned to video store class okay we are going to assign that responsibilities to that video store class so video store is the information expert here okay that means we are getting all the information from that video store class okay here you can see example of that expert here this is the aggregation association between these two classes here video store get all videos okay now this is the information expert this class is the information expert because it will give the information about that or we are going to assign the responsibilities that act we are going to assign the responsibilities to this class or this object that means it's having all the information about that uh, responsibilities okay here you can see example of that expert here video store information now video store is the information expert because it it's having information about all the videos okay here you can see get all videos okay next next pattern is low coupling okay in low coupling what are the problem definition here how strongly the objects are connected to each other there are number of objects in that uh, software design okay so number of classes are there so there that classes are having number of objects so how strongly that objects are connected to each other for that we are going to use coupling so coupling means objects depending on an another objects okay objects depending on other objects so when dependent or depended upon element changes it affects the dependent also that means if two objects are dependent on each other if there is any change in one object that will affect on another okay so for that we are going to use low coupling okay so how can we reduce the impact of change in dependent upon elements on dependent so by how if we are going to use that low coupling so what are the changes or what are the what we can say what what are the changes of we are going to make in that uh, objects that are dependent on each other so for that we are going to prefer low coupling so preferring low coupling means assign responsibility so that coupling remain low so that that coupling remain low we have to assign the responsibilities to that objects okay so by if we are going to using that low coupling so it will minimize the dependencies okay it will minimize that dependency between that objects so hence making system maintainable efficient and code will be reusable okay by using low coupling it will minimize the dependency between that object so that system will be maintainable efficient and that code will be two elements are coupled two elements are coupled if one element has aggregation or composition association with another element and one element implements or extends other element okay so here you can see the example for poor coupling this is the example of poor coupling very poor coupling here you can see get video title if you want video so 
from that video store here you can see rent video class yes you can see rent video so we are having video store and video okay here you can see rent video get all videos from video store and get the title from title of that video from that video okay so here you can see class rent knows about both the video store and video video store and video object okay so now here you can see the rent is dependent on both the classes okay it is dependent on both the classes that is poor coupling okay that means dependency it will be there that means that rent video will be dependent on video store and video okay it depends on both the classes okay this is the example of poor coupling so now low coupling okay see the example of low coupling here see the difference between these two diagram this is the poor coupling and now this is the low coupling here you can see video store and video class are coupled now here you can see in previous example in poor coupling that are not coupled okay not coupled is there here you can see that rent video is dependent on both the classes now in low cup if we are going to use that low coupling here you can see that video store and video will be coupled here okay these two classes are coupled and rent is coupled with this video store okay that it will provide that low coupling if you want the video and details of that video it will contact with this video store class okay so that video store will fetch that information from that video okay and get the title and provide the video to that okay rent video okay so that means here you can see now video store class and video will be coupled here okay low coupling will be there so that means dependency is not there here we are going to minimize the dependency using low coupling okay in previous example or in poor coupling there will be a, there is a dependency between this two classes here that rent video is dependent on video store and video class but if we are going to use low coupling it will minimize the dependency because of that couple we are going to couple these two classes okay so that's it for today's session we have seen that three patterns creator information expert and low coupling and example for these three patterns okay so that's it for today's session thank you